Disclaimer. In the USA, Canada, and many other countries, you need to get a special license to legally distill whiskey or any other spirit at home. To make sure it's legal, check your state and local laws before trying out the cracked corn moonshine recipe. Why do we have cracked corn moonshine here? Among necessities for survival situations, there is indeed no direct connection with our primary topic, but it is indirectly connected, especially regarding our uncertain reality and even more uncertain tomorrow. Technology is swiftly progressing, but it can come to a halt. Various disasters are also a reality. Survival and preparation activities are more than needed, and also knowledge about some practices of primitive skills. Here, self-sufficient homesteaders come. Though not vital for SHTF, making moonshine is an important part of our history and tradition. The first worry that arises is the one about its legality, and simply saying you need a license to make distilled spirits at home. The following content presents a moonshine recipe. You can freely buy distilling equipment for legal purposes, but you will need a special permit to prepare our moonshine, or you will have to move abroad, where these home brewing laws are more liberal. And here is the recipe, which includes ingredients and equipment: six gallons of water, eight pounds of ground cracked corn, one point five pounds of malted barley, sugar optional, one pack of yeast. Usually 11 grams. Heat source: electric or propane burner. Thermometer. Mash pot. Spare bucket for aeration. Long spoon. Cheese cloth. Auto siphon. Fermentation bucket. Hydrometer. Airlock. Moonshine still. Before starting, make sure the equipment is perfectly clean. At the beginning of the process of making moonshine, pour six gallons of water in a mash pot. And heat it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Then grind corn to break down and release starch. Don't make flour out of it. Stir it 15 to 20 seconds every five minutes. When the temperature is about 150 degrees Fahrenheit, add crushed malted barley, and continue stirring for a few more minutes. Malted barley is necessary due to some enzymes that transform starches into sugar, which is actually alcohol. The next step in making moonshine is cooling the barley at around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And occasionally stirring it every 20 minutes. At the temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit, prepare the mixture for fermentation by aeration. That is, use a spare bucket to pour the mash back and forth between two buckets. Do this five to ten times. Yeast is the following ingredient that you need to add. It is also time for taking some cheesecloth or auto siphon to separate solids and sediments. The fermentation of the prepared mash is the following phase. Use a fermentation bucket for the mash. At a hydrometer to measure the relative density of liquids, thus deciding on the alcohol content of the mash. Seal the fermentation bucket with an airlock. At this moment, the temperature hugely matters for the process of fermentation. Low temperatures are not recommendable as they decelerate the process and proper yeast reactions. The ideal temperature for the distillation, which lasts 10 to 14 days, is between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. During these two weeks, watch the process of transforming sugar into alcohol. Through the airlock. After 48 hours, you should notice bubbles. After two weeks, they will stop appearing. Take the hydrometer and check for the temperature. Do this twice with a two-day gap. The same temperature readings mean the end of the fermentation process. The final step, maybe the most exciting one, is distilling. Use the cheesecloth or auto siphon for transferring the mash into a still. Gradually increase the temperature. Your aim is 172 degrees Fahrenheit, as ethanol boils at that temperature. The distilling process has four parts. Four shots are actually toxic methanol and volatile alcohols, which are the first to evaporate. Get rid of them. The next part is the so-called heads, which tastes bad and smells like acetone or solvent. It is 20 to 30 percent of all spirits collected. Get rid of it as well. Parts is the third good part. It tastes smooth and sweet and takes 30 to 40 percent of the quantity of the spirits. During the final part, known as tails, the sweetness fades and the taste is final. If you want to make alcohol sour and stronger, it needs to be distilled for the second time. Otherwise, the product presents sweet and soft moonshine. You see that the whole process is not complicated. Over time, you will become more skillful, as you will learn some subtleties of the production process, which can upgrade the quality of your moonshine. Perfect timing and finesse matter more than a recipe. However, 
you can't start without a recipe and understanding the basics of the procedure.